Hi, I'm Ksenia Turkova. Let's talk about the level of hate speech on Russian TV. For those who don't live in Russia and have never watched Russian TV, it's probably hard to imagine how far it can go. The other day, Anton Krasovsky, a Russian TV host for RT Russia Today and one of the main propagandists, published a pre-recorded interview with uh, Sergei Lukyanenko, a well-known uh, writer, known f also for his hateful statements uh, about Ukraine and Ukrainians. Lukyanenko told Krasovsky about his trip to Ukraine in 1980 when he was a kid. He said that Ukrainian kids told him there that Ukraine was occupied by Muscovites and it could have lived much better without Russia. Krasovsky re reacted with a smirk. Well, just drown those children, drown them in the Tessina River. Alternatively, he said, they could be shoved into huts and burned. Again, the interview was pre-recorded. So obviously, after the editing, they watched it and kept the statements. However, although there is a lot of hate speech on Russian TV, even for them, it seemed too much. Uh, Margarita Simonian, the head of uh, Russia Today, said that Krasovsky's comments were wi wild and disgusting. Uh, Russia's uh, investigative committee is now investigating them. Krasovsky himself apologized, saying, well, it happens, you are on air, you get carried away, and you can't stop. He said he was embarrassed. But the thing is that Russian t TV is full of statements, uh, if not exactly like that, but very, very close. For example, back in April, Krasovsky's boss, Margarita Simonian, tweeted, what choice are you leaving us, idiots? Complete destruction of the rest of Ukraine and nuclear strike? and also stated on air that Ukraine cannot continue to exist. By the way, on the same program, the host, another iconic Russian propagandist, Vladimir Solovyov, uh, compared the war in Ukraine to the procedure of expelling worms from the body of an animal. When a doctor, it's a quote, uh, takes worms uh, out of a cat's body, then for the doctor it's a special operation, for the worms it's a war, and for a cat it's a liberation, end of quote. This quote by Solovyov actually is a direct reference to the main call of the Rwandan radio of a thousand hills. The Hutu presenters, as you know, as you remember, called their representatives uh, of uh, Tutsis cockroaches and urged to exp extreme exterminate them. If we exterminate all cockroaches, no one will condemn us. Otherwise, uh, we will be drowned in Lake Kivu, they said on the radio. The host uh, could uh, even tell a dream on air in which he was happy because he discovered that there is not a single cockroach in the whole city. But uh, this is not the only one similarity. Russian propaganda, in one way or another, repeats all the basic tools and messages of Radio of a Thousand Hills. For example, on the radio, they said that um, the attack was inevitable. Otherwise, they would have to die. The hosts uh, urged the audience, people should take care of themselves and uh, exterminate the scum. Uh, if you allow the snake to live among you, then you yourself will become a victim. They look like animals, they are the animals, said uh, Hutu about uh, Tutsis. Putin started the war exactly with the same narrative. In his speech on February 24th, he said, we have not been left with any other choice to defend Russia. Other technique is uh, the euphemization of the aggression. In Russia, the entire war discourse is based on euphemisms. Special operation, liberation, demilitarization, all these terms are designed to mask the essence of what is happening, to present it as some kind of fair process. Uh, the same technique was used in Rwanda. It's known, for example, that radio hosts did not use the verb kill. They said, get to work. Both Radio of uh, Thousand Hills and Russian TV channels also use religious narratives. God is never unjust, Rwandan radio host said. God allows war when he has exhausted all other means of reaching out to a person. With war, God knocks on every heart, a patriotic TV presenter Boris Karchevnikov said on air. And after the announcement of so-called partial mobilization in Russia, he even burst into tears about the fact that not everyone wanted to go to the war. God knows how to hate and destroy and burn such people, he concluded. 
So every day on Russian TV is full of hate speech and cruel, violent statements about Ukraine and Ukrainians and about the Western countries as well. However, none of the hosts was ever investigated. Krasovsky probably will be the first one, but you never know. Uh, calls are already being made to forgive him.